You doing okay? I'm fine. You're an awesome human being, man. You inspire so many other people to, to overcome any obstacle that comes their way, and, and it's obvious that you've overcome so many. Um, Thank you. She's a wonderful person. You really look up to her. She's a very courageous woman. She's been through a lot, so she earns this. So Michael, Ed, Dee Dee, and Johnny, we're traveling through Fresno, oh, California, yes. on our way to meet the Rio Haas family. Now, this is Mary Ann and her four kids. Now, Mary Ann is a force to be reckoned with, but now her and her family are kind of stuck in a really bad situation. Take a look at this tape, and you'll see why we're here. I'm Nicole and I'm 18. I'm Victoria and I'm 17. I'm Andrew and I'm 15. I'm Jesse and I'm 14. And welcome to Virgin California! Marianne was born with a rare genetic mutation that left her with only one fully developed arm and no legs. As a kid, she knew she had to work extra hard to overcome her physical challenges. When I was growing up, I wanted to do everything everybody else did. I wanted to blend in with all the other kids. I wanted to do everything the other kids were doing. I really believe that we ourselves inside know what our own boundaries are, and we know whether how far we can push ourselves. And that's one thing I've always done. I set goals, and I reach them. And when I reach those, I set new goals. Every day, Marianne devotes her time to helping others find the homes of their dreams. But her own house doesn't fit Marianne's special needs. Kitchen cabinets are impossible to reach. The only bathroom in the house is not fit for a wheelchair. Everyday chores like washing the dishes or doing laundry are monumental tasks because appliances aren't easily accessible. Two words to describe my house are limits and dangers. Once I had to get onto the kitchen counter and I slipped and fell where I broke my pelvis bone in half. One day we're not gonna be here, like we're all gonna move out and go to college and she could slip and fall and not be able to get up. It could be a fire, and she couldn't get help if we're not here. You know, she's done a lot for us. I don't want anything to happen to her, whatever it is. My biggest fear is that when we're all gone, none of us are here. Whenever she's on the counter trying to get something, that she might fall down. She can't even come to this room without hitting something. <laughs> ABC. Please help my mom get a, a house that's accessible and she can get around by herself and not having to call us for help. <laughs> wow, that um, that is an incredible woman. Wow. Overcome so many obstacles, yet the one she can't seem to overcome is this house. Yeah. But we can. So what do you say? Can we do this? Well, well, bring it in there, people. Are you with me? Well, with yes. well then let's do it. You're an awesome human being, man. You inspire so many other people to, to overcome any obstacle that comes their way, and, and it's obvious that you've overcome so many. Um, Thank you. She's a wonderful person. You really look up to her. She's a very courageous woman. She's been through a lot, so she earns this. And this is obviously the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Everything's really high. Even to cook, I have to reach over, Got which is very close to the flame, so yeah. Especially if a pot's there, too. Yeah, so right. this is not, yeah, safe at all. But what if you have to get to, like, uh, one of these cabinets to get a plate or, or whatever? I mean, what, what do you have to do? Just lock the brakes. Oh, my God, wow. And so once you get And up then there, get, yeah, get what I need to get, yeah. Well, I totally I see why there. they are so worried about, like, and get whatever it is what'll happen in the future. Because right now, they can help you. Right. But when you gotta do this by yourself, that's when things get really kind of uh, scary, to say the least. Have you thought about, like, renovating? We have asbestos a in the house. Asbestos? Asbestos. And it's gonna cost more money, and extra precautions are gonna have to be taken if we wanna renovate the home. But I just feel that I have too much financially right now. A student loan that I'm still trying to pay off in everyday household bills. 
Well, okay, no wonder you haven't made any improvements. Okay, so down here must be the bedrooms? Yes. Okay. And, and this must be the bathroom. Bathroom. I'm guessing you guys all share this one? We all share this one. This looks like it would not be very easy. Oh, wow. The thing about their house is Marianne has to face so many obstacles, going to the bathroom, taking a shower. It's like climbing a mountain every day. She can't even get to her closet without a struggle. Doing laundry for her family, just being a mom, life is hard. But this week, we can give her a home that is designed just for her. And when you're talking about a lady like Marianne, who's given her entire life, it's time that I think we finally give back to her. So this week, we're here to give her back independence and give her kids peace of mind to know, you know what? Your mum's taken care of. You can now go on and do your part of life. That's what we're here to do this week. Bye, guys! Bye, guys! Take care, guys! When I saw my old house come down, I was excited. I knew that what was gonna be built was gonna be totally accessible. Okay, it's the morning of day three. As you can see we got our foundation in. We got the walls being framed. And I tell you what, man, this house is really coming together. And one of the goals that Mary had set for herself was to own her own house. Except the house she had before wasn't working for her. This house is not only going to be strong and sturdy, it's going to give her freedom, mobility, and most importantly, it's going to take the worry that her kids have about whether or not she's going to be safe when she gets older. This house, it's going to be absolutely awesome. can to make sure it would be easy for Marianne to get around. Nice wide hallways. And check this out. I designed this for her especially. It's a workspace right at her level. So she can roll right up here, take care of business, continue helping others. The kitchen, it's amazing. It's all at her level. Low countertops, low stove, nice low island. Of course, even the sink is low. It's perfect for Marianne. As we were getting out of the limo and we seen all the people outside, I was like, wow, this many people came out to support us. It's just showing that my mom's doing something right. I mean, they recognize what she's done, how persistent she is and determined to be anything she can, and I know she's doing it for us. And I'm just glad to have her as a mother. When that bus moved, I saw freedom. I saw a new beginning. I mean, I went through the struggle of raising my four kids and putting myself through school and still owing a huge balance on student loans. So my old house represented an accomplishment. But when you live in a world that you're in a wheelchair, there's lots of obstacles you face every day. But this home, it's been made for me. And I just started crying. I was shaking. I was crying so much because it just, all the emotions just came out at that moment. Oh my God! Oh my, oh my God! Oh my God! That's so beautiful. Oh my God! Look at it! Look at it! Oh, yeah, this is our house. It's like this so amazing. Our house. Everything in this kitchen. Did you notice? It's really low. I can cook in this kitchen. This is really amazing. We could actually call this place home. When we see the inside of our new house, we were like, whoa, there's a lot of room. And my mom could actually get around in it without bumping into stuff. We were really, really desperate because it kind of felt like my mom was trapped in her own house. The doorway was too small. She couldn't reach stuff from the cabinets because it was too high. And in this new house, she could do anything that she wants to. It's a place where my mom can go and feel safe, feel comfortable, and she could just be free. Oh my god, it's Tokyo. Oh my god, I love this. 
I want to become a game programmer because I've been involved with games ever since I was like four. I love just graphics. I love designing. All the technology fascinates me. It's just everything in the room I love. really gorgeous. I can get to my bed easily. Wow. When I walked into my bedroom, I mean, everything about the room is just very relaxing. Everything on the walls, to the bed, the colors are gorgeous. Not only is it accessible, the whole atmosphere in the room is amazing. It's gonna be a place that I'm gonna go to when I want me time.